Привіт, привіт! My name is Ina and welcome to my YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. In today's video lesson I would like to teach you how to read the Ukrainian shop signs and actually what is their definition. But before we start I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and leave your comments below about it. I record this video lesson according to the request of my Patreon subscriber Samuel. He asked me to make this video and to explain actually how to read the Ukrainian shop signs. So I went for a walk, took my smartphone, made a photos of the signs and I'm going to explain you uh, today. I live in the south of Ukraine, in the city of Kherson and people speak more Russian here, it's true. But uh, when we talk about the uh, coffee shops, supermarkets, uh, post offices, etc. Service people uh, speak uh, mostly in Ukrainian and if you start speaking in Ukrainian they will reply to you in Ukrainian for sure because I speak in Ukrainian with them all the time and even if they say something in Russian at the beginning then they turn into Ukrainian and uh, it works very well. And of course um, many signs like street signs, shop signs, they are written in Ukrainian. The menu are in Ukrainian, so guys, believe me, uh, that's uh, the vocabulary that you have to know if you want to travel to Ukraine, to visit it, or just to uh, maybe even to live here. I know some of my subscribers, they live uh, in Ukraine, but they can't speak it, um, usually speak Russian. And you face in your everyday life here uh, some documents, some signs, um, the menu in Ukrainian language. So let's get it started. Uh, guys, if you like the, the format of this uh, video lesson, please let me know in the comments below and I will make more and more video lessons like this. So, um, can you see the first photo? We can read here Salon and Perukarnia. Ka um, Catherine, yes, this is the name. Uh, we like some time uh, to have English names of the restaurants, of the beauty salon. So the word Salon means salon or saloon. And the word Perukarnia Perukarnia, hairdressers. Salon perukarnia, salon um, hairdressers. Also, we can see the name of this kind of uh, places like salon krasy, very often. Salon krasy, salon of beauty. Salon krasy. Uh, let's continue the next page. This is a very popular supermarket in Ukraine, and its name is. A T B, three letters. A T B, A T B, and here we can see um, the word market. Market means a uh, market. <laughs> it's easy to understand it because this is a foreign word borrowed from English. Market, market, but the word super market means supermarket. So very easy to get it. And also we can see Cilo do Bovo. Cilo do Bovo. Cilo do Bovo it means uh, day and night or all-around um, all clock. It means it works 24 hours, so it's easy to guess. Atebe. Have you ever been to the supermarket? It's very popular in Ukraine and you can find it in every city. Let's continue. The next sign uh, you can see Pro Cut. Prokat, it means rent. So if you want to rent something here in Ukraine, you have to pay attention to this word. Prokat, elektrotransportu. Prokat, elektrotransportu. It means electric transport for rent. So uh, it's not difficult to guess. Yes, yeah, so when you see elektrotransport, prokat. So you can rent it. Okay, let's continue the next one. You can see Persha Privatna Poliklinika. Persha, it means first. Privatna. Private, yes, it means private, you're right. Poliklinika, it means um, hospital. 
It's the first private hospital. Also, the word hospital in Ukrainian language means likarnya. Likarnya. So, please memorize this word. Likarnya. Okay, let's continue. The next one is very close to likarnya is apteka. Apteka means pharmacy or drugstore. Apteka. Apteka. Note, uh, I don't advertise these Ukrainian uh, shops. Uh, I just went for a walk in my district and just made photos of the Ukrainian uh, shop uh, signs. And as you can see, they are in Ukrainian. So when you see the word apteka, it means this is pharmacy. Let's continue. Uh, the next one, Myaso market. Miyaso market. The word miyaso it means meat. Market market. So the name of the shop is meat market. Yes, uh, so very easy to guess. Uh, yes, so when you uh, know some uh, uh, basic expressions, then you can understand uh, many signs and their meaning and what actually is inside of this shop what you can buy there. Uh, let's continue. Uh, also, um, I made a photo of this sign that you can see on every door of the uh, shops or stores. And let's check it out. Robochi hodine. Robochi hodine means working hours. Robochi hodine, working hours. So it means the shop works from 8 a.m till 8 p.m. Pay attention, we don't have in Ukrainian language such words as I am or p.m. So you can see 8, it means I am, it's clear that 8 in the morning. And the second one, 20, 20, we um, uh, indicate the time uh, using the 24 system. So if you want to say 8 p.m., we write 20, uh, 20 o'clock. Понеділок uh, неділя. Понеділок Monday dash неділя Sunday. It means it works from Monday till Sunday. And in Ukraine, our week starts from Monday, not from Sunday. Без перерви. It means without break. It works without break. Та вихідних. And without weekend. No, it means without day off. Yes, so they work every day from 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. So pay attention. Uh, okay, and also when you see on the door uh, the sign Vitkreto or Vitchinino, it means it is opened. Vitkreto or Vitchinino. And when you see Zakreto or Zachinino, it means it is closed. Vitkreto Vitchinino or Zakreto Zachinino. Okay, let's continue. The next one. Uh, smart lab. No, it's very clear. Smart. This is uh, English word smart. It doesn't exist in Ukrainian. This is just the name of this place. Lab is like uh, from lab, like smart lab. It's a laboratory. It's a um, it's a place where you can go and uh, do your analysis. 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 So this is medical. Uh, institution, a uh, private one, where you can go and uh, and uh, uh, check yourself, exam your analysis. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can see analysis. So very often uh, when you see the word analysis, analysis, it means uh, that your doctor can send you there and you can just give your analysis. Okay, the next one, Oshad Bank. It means Oshad Bank. This is Oshad, this is the name of this bank, but when you see the word bank, it means bank. Mi bank, my bank, moja kraina, my country. This is the slogan of this bank. Bank, bank. Okay, and also uh, you may see the sign Bankomat. It is also related to the bank because you can see the name of the Ukrainian bank, Privat Bank private bank, literally it means, and bankomat means ATM, bankomat, ATM. Okay, so if you need to send uh, a parcel 
in Ukraine, you need to go to Nova Poshta. Nova Poshta. Literally, it means new post office. Nova Poshta. New post office. Guys, if you live uh, in Ukraine and you want to buy my textbook or flashcards, I will send them to you by the service Nova Poshta because it is the fastest and you can get your parcel in one, two days. Uh, my products you can check out at the website speaky.com. Textbooks, flashcards, courses, everything is there. Okay, and also we have another name of the Ukrainian uh, post office is called Ukr Poshta. Ukr Poshta. Ukr. This is abbreviation. It means Ukrainian. To the Ukrainska. The full name Ukrainska Poshta. Ukr Poshta. This abbreviation Ukr means like Ukrainian. So Ukrainian post office. Okay, guys, let's continue the next. Живе пиво. Pivo it means beer, you're right. Живе it means live beer. So it means that at this shop you can buy beer on tap. Uh, so uh, in many Ukrainian uh, apartment buildings, on the first floor you can find this kind of places where you can buy beer on tap or just uh, also you can find very small magazin. The word magazin means shop, not magazines, because many Ukrainians, when they hear the word magazine, English one, they consider this is magazin. But please don't mix up. The word magazin in Ukrainian language means shop. Or also we have the word kramnitsya, shop. Okay, Amerikanska himchistka. <laughs> so it's very interesting. Uh, himchistka means dry cleaners. It's called American Dry Cleaners. I don't know why it has this kind of name. Uh, maybe because they follow some American technology of dry cleaners. I don't know. But it's very interesting that you can find it in the city of Kherson in the south of Ukraine. Amerikanska Himchestka, American Dry Cleaners. Okay. Kramnitsa, Chestnik Tin. So the name of the shop is Magazin, as I said before, but also we have the word Kramnitsa, Kramnitsa, shop. Uh, it means the name of the store, the shop of honest prices, and you can buy clothes there. The, <laughs> the uh, shop of honest prices. Uh, the next one, Zoo Magazin. Zoo Magazin means zoo shop. Zoo Magazin, zoo shop. Uh, and its name, Zoo Sweet. Zo Sweet Zoo World. Zoo World. So the shop for pets. Zo Magazine. The next one, Optica. Optica. Optics. You can buy glasses there. Optica. Optics. The next one, Magazin Napoev. Gradus. Gradus, it means um, degree. So this is the name of the Ukrainian word in Latin letters. Pay attention. You may see gradus. What does it mean? I don't know this English word. But actually, this is a Ukrainian word that is written in Latin letters. Some business owners, they do this kind of thing. So please pay attention. Radus means a degree. Magazin Napoyev, a shop of the drinks. No, actually, this is the shop of the alcohol drinks mostly, but you can see how it looks like. And also working hours, you can see 8-20, it means from 8 a.m. till 8 p.m. The next one, Kavyarnia. Kavyarnia. Kavyarnia means coffee shop. Kava means coffee. Kavyarnia means coffee shop. Kavyarnia. Okay, good. And the last one, obmin valut. Obmin valut. It means money exchange. So if you want to exchange money from dollar into Grimna, you need to go to obmin valut. Valut. Obmin valut. Money exchange. So um, actually, obmin means exchange, and valut means currency in Ukrainian language. And the word money means Russian in Ukrainian language. Russian. Guys, did you like this video? Would you like me to record 
more video lessons maybe about the street science or ukrainian shop science part two please let me know in the comments below and if you would like to order the topic for my youtube channel you can do it by becoming uh, a patron supporter on my patron account please check it out and if you want to get more video lessons from me please subscribe to my instagram account speak ukrainian language and also i want to tell you that this april i will launch the third edition of my course from absolute beginner to a confident speaker almost uh, 50 students uh, have finished the first and the second edition of my course and reached the beginner level in Ukrainian. We learned with them at the course uh, 700 common Ukrainian phrases and expressions. It will allow you to feel more confident in Ukraine. You will be able to read the menu, to make friends here, to talk to your Ukrainian family, friends on the basic topics. Believe me, it will be very useful and we will learn Ukrainian language very intensively. And also I will provide you my personal support and advice. Pobacho moi skoro. See you soon. Your teacher Ina with love from Ukraine and Papa. Bye bye.